Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, good morning. <laughs> We're gonna start off with Leo, where we left off. Okay. Um, when I went into everybody's meditation, they told me to call everybody's read a time for reflection. So, um, but your main subject is differentiating. Okay. Um, I feel this year has taught you a lot about how and when to differentiate um, and also to discern people and situations a little more thoroughly you learned when to use logic and when to use emotion or both you learned to discern and differentiate between people who care and people who pretend to care between people who support you and those who only pretend to support you but really don't want you to win um, I feel like you learned um, how to have a relationship with your intuition um i mean the best relationship thus far like say you already had a relationship with your intuition is increased okay um i feel like you learned some pretty painful things during um like lessons during uh, the lessons of 2020 um but know that it was all for a greater purpose in god's plan and it will make sense at some point okay 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 <laughs> Mm. Uh, okay, so let's get you some of these cards out first. I'm gonna pull these cards, set them to the side, and then we're gonna ask the questions that I got. God, universe. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. Please get us clear and concise messages for the sign of Leo. Messages will be beneficial for Leo at this time. And the messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Messages do we have for Leo? <laughs> Whoa. Dang. I don't like all that. Oh. Yeah. We'll start here. Meditation brings answers. Okay. Being quiet, being still, allowing your mind to... Um, Become one. Ask for help ask from others. Angelic beings. Ask your angels. Ask help from others. How to say no. How to keep it pushing. No and don't stop. We ain't keeping all these, but we're going we gonna to just go over them. Improving health. Okay. This is, look at that all. Look at that's the rainbow. That's the happiness. And then it's got that cup. Improving health. The health. Could be emotional health. Spiritual health. Some type of health that, um, that got improved. You learn that it's no need to worry. And how to forgive. You're ready. On the bottom of the deck. I'm putting those back. We can't keep all those. Okay. That's just for Leo, please. So please just bring out the more important ones. So forgiveness came back out. <laughs> Be assertive. I want to shuffle again, but I'm scared a lot of cards will come out. Messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. I'm okay even having three or four. But not those seven, eight, ten cards y'all had. Unlikely. So new cards came out, but forgiveness, that must have been the most um, important one. Forgiveness. Possibly needing to forgive people. Forgive yourself. Then we got recovery on the bottom. When you blossom. Okay, so what self-care cards do we have for Leo at this time? A good self-care card for Leo. Messages for self-care. 
falei, ó, foi isso. Isso aqui é uma cestilha. Eu só quero falar do que eu ó. Meu Deus do céu, que é nessa escolha de ela, How odd. Oh, I thought that said fire. But it says to connect with the earth. Okay, so you could possibly need um, to work on grounding at this time. Or having some kind of connection with the earth, you know, the trees, the forest, just anything outside. And then it says to connect with your ancestors. Okay. So that could help you at the time. Meditating, going with the asking for some help, possibly. This sweet treat is on the bottom. Maybe I don't want to tell nobody you're crazy eating sweets and nothing like that. I'm just saying the sweet treat is on the bottom, okay? <laughs> messages for Leo, please. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo. What messages do we have for Leo? Messages for Leo. Judication and bad health. 30 and 31. Judification cl describes clarifying discussions or debate. In a professional term, all participants in an advisory role are represented. Furthermore, this card indicates all matters that are public. Meanwhile, this card is, in its meaning suggests that the matter will finally be resolved. It doesn't indicate whether it will necessarily be in your favor adjudication that's for later okay so let's ask these questions we got okay so if there's anything that leo could work on getting rid of at this time what would it be anything that leo could work on getting rid of at this time what could that be if anything that leo now if you really don't have much to work on They'll give us uh, five of us because we all are working on healing the past disappointments, the past oppression, the past lies, whatever. You know, you're working on healing. Messages for Leo that they could um, work on getting rid of at this time. Messages for Leo that they could work on getting rid of at this time. Or leaving behind, if anything. Not that. Leo. I can't do all that. Messages for Leo. And what they could work on getting rid of at this time. Now, some a lot of people have been getting uh, getting fear. Okay, because the devil and the hermit came out. Messages for Leo and what they could work on getting rid of at this time. I think that the devil is representing fear for a lot of people. Because you're either giving the love or fear. And it's got to be love. Because when you're giving in the fear, that makes you be living in the love vibration. Because you're being scared and giving into it. Letting that scarcity a mindset and ruin the way you live your life. Or make you live it in a certain way because you're scared. Maybe this is what you learned. This is a time for reflection. So I feel like you learned to let not let fear hold you back. Chariot on the bottom and the Empress. So you could be moving head quickly to a new beginning here. Um, with the quick sets of swords as well. You gained it. You're moving forward to a new beginning because you gained a new perspective. And now you're headed to take some leap of faith. 
That could be the, the whole thing that you're dealing with or that you dealt with with that whole lion taming situation, whatever that was for you. But we got the um, the devil. He represents fear, codependencies, anything binding. So when they say binding, you, that means fear could be a binding thing. That means I, I really want to do this with my life, but I'm scared, so I'm not going to do it. So that means you're not living your life the way you want to, to its full potential because you're too scared. You see what I'm saying? So it's something... Or maybe there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel that you that you seen over this past year. Um, this could already happen. You know what I mean? So take it how it works. Um, that you wanted uh, some path that you wanted to take because you seen the light at the end of the tunnel, but you were too afraid to do so. Okay. But then we got the six of swords, which lets me know um, that's it. It become the ending of a difficult time so you figured this all out whatever it was whatever this fear was keeping you from whatever aspect of this hermit card you figured out a way to sell yourself to calmer waters and now it may not feel too good it left you to assess and reassess go over um possibly heal some things let go of some things look at things that you swept under the rug and then we got the princess of cups see in this cup, she's covering up her cup. So she really is like, no, you know, I don't, I don't know. And and I feel like that's the, the, the type of uh, emotion that you carried at the time when you were forced to look at whatever this was in the Seven of Pentacles. Because the heal is not a good... Doing the work, when people say doing the work, you did the work, it's not a good process. Because all doing the work really is is to heal from all the pain that you swept under the rug. Anything that is affecting you in your life to keeping you from living it to, to its fullest potential. That's what that is. You heal fear. You heal pain. You heal whatever it is keeping you back from being who you truly need to be. Okay? And that's when the perception comes in. Why is the devil here for Leo, please? Oh, something, something, something flipped over right here. Oh. Ace of Pentacles. We're going to have to add that out because it was already flipped. We ain't adding that for the devil because it was flipped already. So we'll put that at the end, which lets me know you're going to figure it out. Or you have figured it out. The devil. Why is the devil here for Leo, please? The devil. Why do you show us the devil here for Leo? Yep. Look like fear to me. And look at that. That perception card is back on the bottom. This must be the whole perception change when they come in. Let's see what these other cards are. Yeah. This was a time at your a time in your life. Yeah, whether sometime this year that happened. Um, I feel like this should be probably past for most of you. So a time in your life where or it just could have been recently too, or it's still you're going through it. Um, a time in your life where you allowed um, fear to keep you from from doing things that you really really wanted to, to do in life, whatever this, whatever keep you binded, whatever you was binded by, okay? It let you it, you let this fear keep you binded, to keep you waiting from doing whatever this sun card is for you, okay? But you retreated from that. See that we got the four of swords of retreating from the fear. Okay, from the fear of wait, it waiting because I'm scared. Because you wanted something more, something more. Pros you wanted prosperity even more than you wanted to be scared. You wanted an equal give and take somewhere more than you wanted to be scared. So then you we got you going and going within. This is that also introspective. You are going within to see what can I get rid of, what don't serve me, what was a lie, what can I what, what whatever. You know, that's when you begin to do the work. Why is the hermit card here? For Leo. Why did you show Leo the hermit? The hermit. Why is this here for Leo? The death card just popped on the bottom the second time. Why do you show us this hermit for Leo? The world card. I'm bringing a cycle to a close. A cycle where you allow fear or anything else to hold you back from what you truly, really want to do. 
because you learn to discern. You learn it not to worry. You learn that things are going to be okay. Something's in here flipped and I need it. And it was flipped. I know I ain't crazy. All right, there we go. Strength card. That's a Leo card. Dang, the Queen of Wands is just sitting here. She wasn't even in the deck. That's a message, too. Because you got bold. You got confidence. You knew what you wanted to do, and you, you knew how to do it. You gained the strength and the confidence to get out there and do it. Okay? Um... Let's we'll see what all this is that came out. Okay. So the world card, boom, and in the cycle, that's the decision you made to end the cycle where you are uninspired, okay, where you are disappointed. You ended the cycle of energy to 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 emotionally mature, okay, because you went in there and do some of that work to clear out the, that clutter, and that's where it affects you most in emotions, okay. And it took strength, it took courage, but that's also you and your energy, okay. But you kept going and you seen the light at the end of the tunnel. And now look, three of cups, a reason to celebrate. A reason to celebrate. Why? Because it's at the end of a difficult time with the Six of Swords. Because you made it to calmer waters. Why is the Six of Swords here for Leo? Yeah, because the conflict, the conflict, the obstacles... Things that were in your way, barriers, they're gone now. Why? Because you did the work. And now you're ready to start fresh. Pure, childlike in emotions. All the blockages, all the things you was holding on to, whatever it was, it's gone. Because you assessed it, reassessed it. And you left what you don't need and you took what you did. And now you, your load is much lighter. Okay? Seven of Pentacles. Why is that here? For Leo. Why just show us the seven of pentacles here for Leo? Oh. Death card on the bottom. Cause it's the end to because it's the end to a struggling time. Six of swords next to that. The assessment is over. You did the assessment. Left behind the pinnacles, the little, the things that you don't need and took with you what you do. And started with seven and now you're leaving with two. You might be a little disappointed about that, but I don't think you are because that's the ten of cups here. That has showing you being happy, even if that's all by yourself. She's all by herself in this card. And all her cups are overflowing. She's in deep thought here. Probably thinking over what she's been through. Because she finally got the victory with the Six of Wands. And that's you. Finally having the victory. Now you see things different. You don't just let things jump in your cup. You gotta have, they gotta have your permission. Why is the Princess of Cups here? But that's also a potential card. Princess of Cups. Why is she here for Leo? Brand new beginning. Because now you're standing your ground. That's why that cup is being covered like that. You're standing your ground because you had too many times of being disappointed and confused. Disappointed and confused. You had enough of that. So now you're standing your ground. You're heading into a new cycle and you're more selective about this cup. Very new beginning. Following your path. Went through an awakening. That's what it looks like. And it brought you out more stable. On a more solid ground. On a more solid foundation. And a brand new beginning to start. A solid foundation. Ace of Pentacles. To start over fresh. Who you, and, and have potential to your true power. And who you truly are inside. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for Leo please? Ace 
Ace of Pentacles. Why is it here for Leo? For some of you, this this was a, this this is what the main thing we've been going over: fear, healing that needs to happen from the past, and religious structures. So, if you if you watch that planet conjunction video I put up on Sunday, then that, I went over all of that. I said all of this, okay? But I feel like this could be somebody. Some of for some of you, it's a a, de, a, a reconstruction of your religious beliefs, okay? A release of burdens. Or realizing. Or maybe. We're re losing a lot of weight. Like um, heaviness. Like when heaviness is when the energy is heavy on you. Okay. But then you release something. Some religious. Limiting religious factor. Okay. And those burdens are released with it. Because. I mean. I don't want to get into all that religious and stuff. But I know I believe in God. And they, I don't need. To go to, I don't, it's, it's, I'm, look, I believe in God. That's all I'm saying. I want to do King of Swords with the best thing for me in my life and the best, highest purpose that God would want me to serve. And that's all I want. All I need to do is have a relationship with him one-on-one -on -one directly. I don't need nobody to tell me about my God because I know. So, and I'm just using that as an example because I feel like that's what some of you could be going through. Realizing that some things were just not true. Some things might have been altered a little bit. Okay, I'm just saying. Things that the way they said you're supposed to live. You can't do this and you should do this and this is how you got to do it. You're going to be making this. This is my making cho choices that are best for me card. You're going to be doing what's best for you. Okay, while still being aligned with your path. Okay, I mean those cards together are good because this is the, this is my God's plan card. I mean Ace of Wands, you headed on this God's plan purpose. That means you're following your, your destiny, doing what's best for you, doing the right thing. You might even be meet, meeting some alliances on the on the way. This is my half ass work card, but it's also because I don't feel any half ass work energy here. It's also putting working together, putting the work in, um, partnering with somebody to work on something. Okay, so yeah, that's what we got there. So let's put this up and go ahead and move to these cards I pulled out, so we can clarify them. move right here to these cards this judication let's start with that why is judication here for leo please judication so this is going to be some type of possibly discussion or something some type of compromising discussion Or you don't know how it's going to play out. You don't know if it's going to play in your favor or, or against you. Why is Judication here? For Leo. For some of you, it could be a court um, matter. Judication. This could be um, for somebody out there, for a very slight lake few. Um, I can see a lion over here with a crown, and I can also see a unicorn on the other side. And they're um, on two. If I... See that lion and that unicorn? They're on each side of the cup. Somebody's in here going through a, um, a Leo dealing with a water sign, going through some type of battle. Um, in the courtroom about emotions. Possibly, um, I don't know, a divorce. Separation. Maybe even counseling. Judication. 
trying to bring things back into a balance but anyway back sorry i don't mean to say it like that because that's just for a couple people but um it's definitely some kind of conversation happening here and it's going to be a deep one here and and it, and it could be some kind of breakup from a long-term commitment or a long-term situation but we have the two of cups coming out here in reverse so that definitely means to me that some relationship is breaking up okay because possibly it's been stagnated okay or maybe this relationship is not breaking up it's just not on the up and up it's been stagnated okay and it just it requires some balance so maybe people are going to like i said um counseling and if that's not the case, people are just um, leaving this relationship or leaving this partnership or leaving whatever this two of cups is for you, um, whether it be relationship or business, because they feel like it's holding them up. It's causing some stagnation for them or they went through an awakening and they see things different with the temperance card. So see that she's pouring it out in order to balance it out and start it over fresh. Somebody's been stagnated here. They feel like it's just holding them back. It could be a friendship as well. Or it could be a job, some kind of partnership, some kind of contractual basis. But something, somebody feels like something has been stagnating them, okay? And they want to restore balance and power in their life. Two of Cups Reverse. Why is it here? For Leo. Yeah, it's either a relationship or a partnership or a friendship. Somebody, yeah, ugh, somebody did something. Because we got the three of pentacles reversed. Somebody don't want to work together with them. Somebody's deciding not to work with somebody because of some form of betrayal. So that's why this partnership is over. Because somebody did something. Five of swords is betrayal, conflict, arguing. Hang man, why is that here for Leo? Somebody's bored or being stuck and stagnated and stabbed in the back. So they coming in, they bored with it. So they coming in to speak their truth quickly, fastly, honestly, and then they gonna move on with their life from this stagnation where they moving into a more balanced area where they pour all of that out and start over fresh. The temperance, why is that here for Leo? It could be a relationship, it could be a job or a partnership, some kind of business relationship and it could just be a friend but somebody's deciding to part to um throw in the wave the white flag and take their leave of absence from whatever kind of this is yeah because they want to end the cycle they want to end the cycle and do what's best for them okay six of swords sell themselves to karma waters and five of wands come out of conflict this is the same thing we had in the last spread somebody's tired of fighting tired of arguing tired of being stuck and stagnated and they just want better for themselves so they just got to leave somebody behind could have been this relationship is toxic you got this bad health card this relationship doing nothing but stressing them out um or maybe they somebody's finding out something we're gonna clarify this i don't want to do my speculating but this is bad health why is bad health here for leo this relationship is bad for your health <laughs> i'm saying it might be Yeah, that's what it is. Could be. Let's see. Justice card coming out. Six of Wands. The Lover's card. Yeah, this is a relationship that's toxic. It's a toxic relationship. That provides you with no nurture. And makes you feel like you need to heal from it. So this is make you making a decision to choose yourself. And it says that you will feel victorious about it. Okay? Because justice will come in and balance it out. This energy, whatever was toxic or bad for your health. Here, yep. Tower on the bottom is, is coming, to, coming down. Because you know what you want. You know what you deserve. And you, you, yeah. Knight of Wands. You charge it towards it passionately. Or at least if you ain't going to get it from this, you're going to be by yourself. And it's going to give you a reason to celebrate. And it's going to clear up space and bring in options for you. So it might not feel so good at first, but it's definitely going to be worth it um, in the long run. So let's set these to the side and get the Kipper deck. I mean, the uh, 
gilded tarot so we can work on these before we get y'all up out of here, okay? Forgiveness. Oh, now I see why forgiveness is you need to forgive. Or somebody need to forgive you. Whoever this was acting like this. Being bad, bad health. Toxic is what they was being shit. That bad health and this, this energy made me, it's written toxic all over it. It don't make, it don't, I don't feel like nobody's really sick. I don't feel no sadness or nothing. I feel toxic. Not like I feel toxic, but I feel toxic written all over that bad health card. Forgiveness. And it's just low vibrations that we got to heal from. Why is forgiveness here? Maybe you were the toxic one. And then the, then the King of Cups pop out. <laughs> Same thing in your spread. Ain't that something? And the Queen of Wands. And two, somebody could have been married, too. Because we got this Queen of Pentacles reverse and this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands can sometimes be a mistress. So, somebody could be coming out of a divorce. Or going through a divorce, going through some kind of separation. And they want to heal something with somebody else. Because the lover's part is here, too. And they want a victory here. They want to have balance of the skills. So there could be some discombobulation going on. Like leaving one situation. I ain't, I shouldn't have said discombobulation. I mean, we it's not normal. Being honest, that don't mean it's discombobulated. Sometimes life just set up like that. So somebody, But it's obviously something went wrong along the way. Because somebody needs forgiveness now. Mr. King of Cups sounds like you. Or... Somebody that might have lied to you about having a relation, a marriage, but maybe they were not lying. They were going through a divorce and they just didn't make that clear. So now they need you to forgive them. But it's got the King of Cups here. Okay, this could be something to do with love. Some somebody that you, that you retreated from. Somebody you got a lot of emotions for, but you maybe didn't express it or didn't tell them exactly how you felt. But you see them as sexy, confident, and bold, and it's and you're inspired by them. Or maybe they retreated from you. Because you are not expressing your emotions. And they know exactly what they want. And they don't know what you want. But you know what you want. And you didn't speak it. So now you need to go say it and be forgiven. Something like that. Okay. Be assertive. Oh, yep. That must be you going in. That's, the, <laughs> that's her match. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Being assertive. You want to be assertive in apology or something? What is it? Why is be assertive here for Leo? Because it's obviously, it's obviously emotion here. Something to do with emotions. This is definitely emotions. And you didn't discern. Oh, discernment. You didn't discern right. You didn't discern correctly. So you didn't fucking chose somebody. Oh. So you retreated from her because of the wrong decision, and now you need forgiveness, right? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Let me know. Because now it says your, your title was about discernment. Maybe you couldn't discern at first. Or maybe you did. Maybe you was mean or rude because you've been through some things in the past and you didn't discern her real intentions. So you thought she was just, you know, like everybody else type of thing. Be assertive. Or he. Could be he. Why is be assertive here for Leo? Something was off with your discernment, and now you need forgiveness. Oh, yep, because you're coming out of you coming, you're coming out of fear or toxicity, whatever this toxicity was for you. The devil came out remember in your original spread, but he was upright. Now he's reversed, so you figured out how to leave all that behind, whatever this the devil was for you. Who are we on, Leo? That ain't no earth sign. You got earth in your chart. The hermit came out, and now here go the king of pentacles. You were popping up here is a lot of kings. So maybe you were working on emperor status. Yeah, I like that. That sounds good. Okay. Or empress. Okay. So you release whatever is toxic, cold upon you. All of that is released. That's good. You lift your vibration, in other words. 
Maybe the time was not right, but the time is now. Looks like divine timing has spun this back around with the Wheel of Fortune. And you either going to go invest in it or... But look, Queen of Pentacles is reversed right over here. That's so funny. Maybe you didn't invest and now you're ready to even more than you was willing to at first. But you're going in and you be assertive. You got something to say. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> that is something. That is something. This is you telling her, look, I want, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, I want you to marry me. I want to move forward. You are my wish fulfillment. I want a new beginning. I want to stand up and fight for this. Ah, that's what I'm saying. You going away, leaving. This ain't you. This is Eight of Cups walking away. What they said, this and this Eight of Cups, he is searching his happiness. So he walking away from the Eight to find his Ten. Boom. There's the Empress. Boom. There's Leo. <laughs> oh my gosh, Leo. This is good. This is real good. I like this. You about to, it seems like some kind of marriage or some kind of relationship. Some of you are happy and you can say something, but these two are normally married. So that's why I said marriage. So I don't know what's going to happen here. But you're going to be assertive. And then you probably like, what if she say no? Or what if he say no? And they're like, ah, it's unlikely. <laughs> so let's see. Why is it unlikely? Why is it unlikely here? <laughs> unlikely. Why is it here? Because you're showing up as the emperor. Who turning down the emperor? Nobody. <laughs> My lips got a little dry. Ain't nobody turning down the emperor, Leo. Is you serious? That's why it's unlikely. Ain't nobody turning down the emperor. It don't matter what you did. Obviously, I'm going to tell you why. Because the person still want to heal the situation. Because they're illuminated. Because they are, they have the knowledge. They have whatever the situation is. This is, this is, they, you are their wish too. They can feel like you're a gift from the universe. And guess what? They do. They want to put the work into this, okay? To put in the balance. And guess what? The, working on the balance, two and eight, is, is the ten of pentacles. They want to put in the work for having the end-all, be-all. So y'all can sell in the calmer waters. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. So, connect with the earth. It looks like you got a lot of earth out here already. You already, You could have earth in your chart. Maybe that's why you need to connect with the earth, Okay? And connect with your ancestors so they can help you. Connect with your intuition so he can help you. This spread makes me happy. Okay? So with that being said, Leo, this is what I got for you. If it resonated for you, thumbs up the video. Like it. Let me know. Comment down below if you would like. Um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're interested. That'd be great. Okay? Um, yeah, share it with your people, whoever you might need, thing, need, thing need to hear this, or, you know, all of that, so, that's what I got you guys, good luck with this, love you guys, and until next time, namaste. I'm back, Leo, I got this second part, <laughs> somehow I forgot to ask the other two questions, like, I thought I was really, I mean, we was 40 minutes into it, so I thought we could just covered all the bases. That darkness, it's daylight out. I don't know why it's so dark, but I don't like that glare either. Does that take the glare away? Let me just move the light over here. It's gonna make it better for us. Yes, it does. Okay, other question What can Leo focus on now? Could be a leap of faith. Fool car popped out. Could be a leap of faith that you need to take. Will be a good thing for Leo to focus on now. So this part, it's going to look like my mouth is moving um, faster than the chef or I don't know. When I edit it, it do weird shit like that. So just worry about the message, okay? <laughs> We'd be good. What should Leo focus on now?
messages for what Leo should focus on now. Four of Pentacles, Hangman, Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, Six of Wands. Holding back, being stagnated from speaking the truth about a wish fulfillment or two wish fulfillment about wanting a victory. Correct? I think so. Four of Pentacles. Why is it here for Leo? I'm only going to clarify the first two. Because we know what the Ace of uh, Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Six of Wands is. Four of Pentacles for C-Book, yeah. Self-deception. Holding back. Being deceptive, though. What are you trying to sneak away with something? Holding back something? Four of Pentacles. Disappointment. Holding back disappointment. Holding back the fact that you're disappointed. I'm trying to. I don't know. Disappointed about some some betrayal. I'm holding back that somebody's betrayed somebody. Something's wrong here. Somebody's holding back something about being disappointed. Walking away. Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. Thus making it deceptive and leaving and causing disappointment. Maybe somebody's holding their back and it's stagnating them. Why is the hangman here? Somebody got to come in and speak some truth. And they holding it back. The hangman. Uh, yep. They are going to talk about how they want to put the work in. On building the foundation and, and having the balance. And they really want to be with you. Or you really want to be with them. And you chose the wrong person. You walked away from the wrong person. You deceived yourself. You lied. Something. I don't know what that seven of swords is going to be. So you got to work. What you need to focus on now is going to speak some truth to somebody. What would help Leo be better in the new year? Messages for what could help Leo to be better in the new year, please. Excuse me. Messages for what could help Leo to be better in the new year. Obviously, being more in tune. You learned that, though. Okay. Being more in tune with emotions, intuition, being confident, being bold, selling upon your future, on your path. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom, going in to nourish something and following your intuition. So, yeah, that's the little add on part because I forgot the other two questions and I'm terribly sorry. Okay, guys, love you. Bye.